All right, so we're in my last Marvel pile before we get to the cases. The cases are gonna have my collecting keys. They're gonna house my collecting keys. And um, they are the ones I'm going to, I'm gonna submit them all for CGC. And um, some of them though I'm gonna wait I'm not in a rush to send some of them. Some of them I will, just because they're high grades, and uh, I think they'll come back 9.8s, but some of them aren't 9.8s, so th that financial commitment is really something you have to take into consideration. I know it's. I know a lot of people just submit just to have their favorite comics in a 9.8, and I'm, I'm the same way. I, I, like I, That's what I want to do, but... Um, if you, you know, these comics, they, what I found is like, they're appreciating in value, like, they're, that we're in a, we're in a period of time where comics, I think, are the, are just, it's, it's a fun collectible, it's something, it's different from like, sports cards and like, toys, and I mean, toys you can play with, but, it's different in the sense that the, these stories are like they stay with you. These characters, uh, they, these like these books represent the art. It's art. The stories represent something that stay with you, and so I think um, that kind of connection to some, an object uh, you can't get from like toys and these other things like the reason the toys are popular is because of that content because you watched a show or because you read a book and so I think that's what separates comics from your typical collectibles is that this is content that uh, really uh, has has you connect with on a different level okay so we're on my last uh, Marvel pile before we get into cases so the this is <laughs> this is my Wolverine the start of my Wolverine collection. Um, I know you saw some Weapon X's in the previous pile, and um, that's that's pretty cool. They're not they're not worth that much, and these Wolverine ones aren't worth that much either. But you know these are a lot of some of these uh, comics are again uh, written by Larry Hama. This, this one here is Larry Hama Story and Mark Silvestri cover. So this one is one of my, yeah, this is a darling of mine. Not a lot, and not very valuable. I think it's like five bucks. Might It might be worth a little bit more, but this is Wolverine, the die cut cover, number 50. So let's just pull these bad boys out here and take a look at the Wolverine stuff. Um... Now, I recently, like I told you, so um, before my budget went to zero, I, I did spend some money on my on comics, and then I got berated by my wife and basically told I couldn't spend anything more on comics. So, um, yeah, I bought some stuff off eBay. Uh, one was... Um, the entire run of the Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X um, by Barry Windsor Smith. This this entire run minus I think th three issues. One is the issues I'm missing from the run are 70, 78, 79, and I believe maybe 81. Yeah, 78, 79, and 81 are the ones I'm missing. Um, but other than that, I have the entire run, so, uh, and 72, so that's the, the one of value. Um, and these are in, like, I put these also in separate bags. So let's, let's kind of get started here with, let's start here on some of these Weapon X titles. So... These are three dollars a pop, um, but you know they're gonna bring back Wolverine to to the MCU. So um, don't get me wrong, I loved 
uh, I love the uh, the Wolverine character. Uh, what's what's the actor's name? Uh, the Australian actor, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's uh, Logan. Don't get me wrong. He he was spot on as a Wolverine. Okay, so he set sort of a standard. I think it's going to be hard to follow. Um, let's just put that out there. But um, I don't like what they did with the Wolverine character. In that first X-Men movie way back when, two, year 2000, you know, that was great. I loved that, that take on the X-Men. But then, I don't know, the, the, the subsequent movies, the X-Men first, actually, you know, Days of Future Past was really good. I thought that was, that was pretty good. That was one of the better ones. Um, X-Men First Class was pretty good too, but I don't know. I just feel like uh, a lot of the interval Wolverine stuff wasn't, um, it wasn't that great. Um, in fact, the one in Japan where he fights Silver, Silver Samurai, it started off great, but then it ended so, so poorly. Um, so yeah, I mean, they could have done, they should have introduced Sunfire in that one. And there were just a lot of things they kind of, like these, those little things as a comic fan, you notice like, why didn't they put this or that in the movie? And, um, in the origin story, that was such a big disappointment. So, um, yeah, uh, needless to say, they, if they bring Wolverine back, they're going to probably focus on his origin at some point. And uh, hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully they just stick to the comic. Just stick to the comic, all right? Don't, <laughs> don't get all Hollywoodsy. I know this is a lot of maybe uh, just a little too gritty for for your popcorn summer movie audiences, but uh, I really hope they stay true to it. So these. Uh, some of these copies are good. Some of them aren't. This is one of the ones that there's a bend there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not color breaking. So with a press, this one is a 9.8 potential. So I'm definitely getting the 72 graded. These though, until they go up in value, and I, I want to complete the run, so I want to get those three issues um maybe that's what i'll do with the 20 dollars i have left if i can find these I saw them i saw two of these issues in a dollar bin um a while back so if i can get the finish that run off maybe i would slab the entire run if they went up in value this one looks to be a pretty good clean copy 9.8 potential so i'm gonna write it down for the next 80. The 72 I got is really clean. This is clean as well, although I see, I do see some minor, might right there, minor flaw. Mm -hmm. That edge looks okay. So a 77 is not a go. This I think is problematic as well. There's a blunted corner right there and that would take it out of contention. Another dented corner, although that could be pressed out. That's a clean corner. And it's looking pretty, pretty decent on the edge there. Uh, if that's probably the bag right there. That's looking, that's looking pretty decent for a dark cover. So this one, hmm. The question is whether that's negligible or not. Under the magnification, this is where you get very subjective. Overall, the impression I think would garner it. So again, I think 
83 is on the... I'm going to put it in my just potential. So again, if I'm going to grade all these comics. 83. Here's my other copy of Weapon X. And let's just see how clean this is. No spine ticks on this one. There does look to be some something like some pressable defects on the cover there. That's looking really good. Yeah, maybe I'll submit both of these copies. Then I could if I get them both back in 9.8s, I could sell one. So let's see, weapon X. Number one, submit that, to submit both copies. All right, so here are more Wolverine comics. I'm just gonna put the phone down real quick. I got them in bags as well. Okay, so this is um, Wolverine number 50. Uh, I love this comic, but there are flaws. And this is something where I, I need the, the community's feedback. I did not press the uh, Batman Dark Knight Returns because of this cardboard cover stock. I just thought uh, pressing it might do it more harm. But then I read or I've been seeing online that pressing doesn't affect it so I'm curious to, to get everyone's take on whether you'd submit these kinds of covers the, the harder stock covers for cleaning and pressing if so just if you have experience with it uh, let me know how it went um, how the grades turned out but this one uh, has two color non-color breaking creases right there so the question is, would a press get these out? So again, they're not, they're non-color breaking. And if you press that out and smooth, and you got the crease out, um, that would definitely bump up the grade. So this one, clean corners, everything else about this book is flawless. So that, that, piece of fuzz is just dust on the cover there not any damage um, clean corners really beautiful cover um, Sylvester cover this is just like a top secret weapon X weapon 10 priority clearance only not to be seen by major look <laughs> so anyway um let me know if you think pressing, well, first of all, if this book should be pressed or not, and if pressing would resolve that in the comments, please. This is a comic, uh, sorry, like a, it's basically a hardcover um, graphic novel. And it's not worth much, I think it's five bucks. I think so, I got this thrown in with the eBay order for the Weapon X uh, run. I paid sixty some dollars for that Weapon X run uh, off the off an auction, and uh, the guy threw this in because I, I apparently one of the copies got damaged. He had to replace it, and so he threw that in as well. Um, got two copies of 75 this is the front so on the front of this bag, bag and board is one copy and the back of it is second with the back showing so you get to see both sides this is where magneto tears the i don't know x this is this is a continuation after magneto tears the adamantium off Wolverine's skeleton so he's just going through all this uh, 
his body's reacting to it. Um, although he's got like claws right there. Maybe this is a different storyline. No, pretty sure this is where uh, there's a follow up to. Yeah, there's a follow up to that where he gets the adamantium ripped out of him. Although he's got his enemy, I'm gonna have to go back and. Yeah, I forgot. I you know I read this so long ago. I forget forget what happens, but uh, it's where he copes copes with the bone claws. Um, great cover. This is a Adam Cooper cover. It's got a great three D hologram of Wolverine there. So just for that hologram alone, the the price of the comic is justified. <laughs> I believe this is a ten dollar book. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ten dollar book. So um, these are, if the grade is right, I could submit this as well. Um, there seems to be something on that corner right there. I believe it's the bag, though. Yep, it is the bag. So, Let's see here. dare say this is a uh, submission worthy Wolverine 75 front let's see on the back here and this one I'm just gonna have to judge from the back not the front so if I see something on the back so this one already has has a cover that's right a corner that's a little problematic. That that might be enough to knock it out of nine point eight contention. So we find something another flaw, which I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing. Yeah, outside of that one corner, that corner is a little blunted too. It's just a little blunted. That one's okay. So this one, the corners are a bit of an issue. And uh, but if I'm to submit one, I could submit them both and just keep the higher grade and sell the lower grade one. So let's submit both. All right. So the next is another Adam Cooper cover and. That's a great cover. That is an awesome cover. There's this, there are the broken bone claws right there. All right, so that's a great cover. Um, this one I would just potentially submit along with the Wolverines just to have slabbed, that's the back. Yep, this is clean. This would just look so cool. So this is like, if you were to just buy covers, this is one you'd want to have, 79. So this is submission worthy. Um, and this is something, if I got back in a 9.8, uh, I would sell, I would sell it. Um, it's a great cover. Actually, no, I'd keep it. I'd keep it. Uh, another great cover. Um, Wolverine. Thing. So this pulls out and you get on the back is like uh, saber tooth snar snarling. And they're just kind of face to face. And then you get this great top to bottom action here. Uh, Wolverine and saber tooth fighting. I think this one also is very clean. My memory serves me. Um, yeah, very clean. Boom. 9.8 worthy, definitely here. This is another great cover, not worth much. But then again, when that Wolverine announcement comes, I'm sure all these uh, titles might go up. These 90 titles, though, are set 
there were, it was not a good time to be collecting in the 90s, let me just let me sell you. Um, these books are not worth very much, but uh, it's nice to know that they're all nine point worth, eight point worthy, so at some point they go up, they shoot up a little in value. I'll submit all these books. Yeah, if that uh, trailer or the announcement drops, boom, they're going to CGC. All right, so this one is number 76. And, yep, yeah, there's a spine tick there. That seems to be the only area of only area of issue. Um, that that's a great cover as well. Barry Windsor Smith. His art is just it evokes emotion. There's a lot of emotion in his covers. Boom. This one's a very clean copy. This one is a very clean copy, so I was very happy with, I mean, you could argue that I paid too much. 67 for 70, for basically, what is it? Like 10 comics? Yeah, essentially for like 10 or nine comics. 60 bucks for nine or ten comics that puts it at about six dollars a book um but that 72 you got it so you'll see it later but it's such a immaculate copy if that doesn't come back a 9.8 i just i don't know if any book can come back a 9.8 <laughs> uh, there's a could be negligible, but it's, I thought this was going to be absolutely flawless. But we have somewhat of a yeah, that's just a little ding there. That's negligible. So that this would still be a nine point eight. So it looks like we have seventy six is. Not perfect, but seven. Sorry, seventy-five is seventy-five. Would get a nine point eight, I think. All right, and then the last weapon X seventy-four. This one has spine ticks. Spine ticks. A blunted corner. So this one. Probably not submission worthy. I'll put this one here. Great cover though. And this one. This is uh this is I believe a s this is Sylvester cover. And it's um, cable, saber tooth, and when this came out, it was actually this one was high in value. This one was like a like a fifteen dollar comic when it first came out, and then it's dropped in value since. And so I think it's like under ten now. It's probably like a six dollar comic, but uh, great cover. You just got three great characters on the cover, so you know this is uh, going to be a collector's favorite. What's that? Yeah, that's it's uh, a little bit of a like a scratch or something, but the the spine is looks good. So I think this would get a nine point eight. This is a nine point eight Wolverine forty one. All right, so that does it. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, stick around because we're going to be getting um, my next set of videos is going to be 
heading into my cases. So the cases are the ones that uh, are my babies. And so, uh, yeah, we'll see you there.